hey everybody and welcome back my name is sue and i am from oml embroidery and today we're going to be working on a scary scarecrow but a cute scary scarecrow i have with me lynn hello hello and over there on the computer is don hello hello that's all he gets to say today no okay. more nothing else nothing, nope. nothing else <laughs> just for fun um okay lots of people in the house today you guys rock so i'm making this one into a quilt square and i'll probably make another one and then make just like a little bag so i'm doing the eight by eight size so i think it would be cute now this is going to be my scarecrow's uh face and i think we decided scarf this will hopefully be the raven. <laughs> I, I just kind of picked up some yeah. scraps. Mom says hi. This will be the hat. Hi, Mom. So, hi, Mama Brown. And then Mama Brown. And this will be the background, Ooh, which I, I love. love. So then the question is, do we put the background this way? No, I think it should go this way or that way. That way. I think the way I had it. So, yeah, gorgeous. And, of course, I have a bit of backing. Now, these designs we've seen in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group that people have been doing different things with these Halloween designs. Um, someone made uh, gorgeous bags. I think it was Sarah. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, someone else put them on a shirt. You can do anything with them. Um, but I thought like a little bag would be nice. That Just would be awesome. Sew the two blocks together, yep. put a bottom on it, and sew the top down and, you know, put a plant in it or just have some candies or anything like that. That's what we're going to do. They're so versatile. I know someone asked, yes, Sarah, I got it right finally. Yay. They were gorgeous. They were gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, remember to think outside the box. It's a little project, stitching them out. Um, we're going to move on. There's so many things in the book that we're going to do. Um, I especially love these silhouette animals. Yes. I think that is going to be incredible to do. And you can learn landscape quilting because it's it looks awesome from yeah, the book. Yeah, it looks way more complicated than it is. So, Lynn is going to do the trimming. Now, she doesn't like the duck build scissors, so these are our almost famous gun old ones. We gave away hundreds of them. Um, and she's going to try those. They're brand new, so they should be sharp. And we'll see if having a better pair of scissors helps Lynn out for the trimming. So, let's go over to McDreamy Don, please. McDreamy's up. All right, so we took last week's view and we made it better. So it should be good. So, I think I did it, yeah. First step is placement, and I just realized I have white in here. Now, the placement, I did a class last week to show you guys how to add these parts to the design. Now let's remember that I'm not changing the design at all. I'm only adding a few steps to it. So I'm not changing the design. Of course you can't sell it with adding stuff to it. Did you know that Lynn? No. Yeah, you can't modify someone else's design and sell it as your own. Oh really? Yep, no, you can't. Otherwise, everyone would just buy designs, make them a little different, and sell them. Yep. And the original artist needs to be compensated for their work. Right. So, I like to remind everyone with that, because some people don't know that you can't do that. You can, um, you know, for this, I can do it. It's easy. And when I gave away one of my backgrounds it did not include the actual design because you can't give away other people's work either right right so yeah hmm. um so i just added them just exactly the same way that we did in the class i don't know if we'll ever beat that class it was so good i was able to 
show them how to do this in all the software that I have. I had a hard time with the last one because your brain kind of gets yeah. muddled and I couldn't find a couple of things. I used to do all my teaching videos like that. It was so hard. It was so hard and I, it was just like too much for my brain. Brenda did the bomb and check before you lost her and your body. Oh, yay. Did you, did you check it? Yeah. Yeah. I watched her. She called it. I didn't see it. Bobbin, thank you. Always for the reminder, people. All right, so we decided this way for the fabric. Now, we don't have to trim it, Lynn, because we're making a quilt block. So we need some kind of edge for it. So the applique, though, is going to need to be trimmed. And Lynn's on it today. Because I'm really tired, and I kind of messed up a few things yesterday. Where was Lynn yesterday when we had some trimming? The bee turned out <laughs> really well. <laughs> what are you saying, Lynn? No, Sorry? No. Nothing. That's what I kept messaging. Thank goodness it's not me. <laughs> oh, my you goodness. You chicken. Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> That's why I said it probably would have been a two-hour show. I still would have been there trimming. You guys would have already gone and had lunch. We didn't have lunch. <laughs> Not that day. Just kept working. Well, for something like that, though, you need the right tools for the job. You need the sharp, pointy scissors that I have here. They're, they're really, really pointy to get in there and cut it out. And uh, take your time. Yes. That's all. But it, it, a lot of fussy cutting it was a lot of small ones it was a lot of small ones okay so I only stitched that down once because we're gonna start on the I did echo quilting this time which Lynn thought was kind of cool yes yes so I just like I said I did it the same exact same way as I showed you in the class if you have digitizing software and you want to um, add backgrounds to embroidery designs, remembering never to change the size of the actual embroidery design, the stuff you add you can change because it's native. So two types of files, a stitch file and a working file. Okay. So each digitizing software has their own like extension so Wilcom is EMB that sort of thing the machines can't read them because they're for the computer okay when you get done your design you create a stitch file and that's what the machine stitches out Oh, okay so a working file is made for working so I'm the one who created it I have the original thing you have all the angles and you know stitch types when you bring in a stitch file it doesn't have that much editing capabilities you can like delete a color block or adding stuff has nothing to do with the original design okay. so some people they want a design say this design and they want it smaller but they only have the stitch file and they make it smaller and that just brings everything closer together oh. so you can only do that if you have the working file and even so with the working file you have to be a bit careful Ooh, what was that that was like four stitches thanks PE just design the corner you bet maybe <laughs> I didn't see that I thought maybe it just skipped oh, oh. that one did six okay so this <laughs> is a really good example of you know quote unquote auto digitizing i didn't even look at it because i figured pe design would connect everything um and it should be connecting this instead of trimming oh. and i just assumed it would yeah there there's it should be done this part oh i i it's gonna do that on all four corners well i might skip it if it's gonna do that <laughs> holy cow yeah. So, yeah, lesson be learned, people. Check your work and don't always rely on the software. Oh, my goodness. 
but at least it's only what five or six uh, maybe I, I just feel the getting old yeah if it carries on you guys don't need to watch my mistakes but yeah you got to check your work and watch it stitch out I didn't bother because oh, I see? haven't had now I could have just stitched right up there and made a connection <laughs> are you kidding me are you kidding me see when i see it i'm thinking it's gonna go all the way around and around and around and around it should it's sh and it's not i have never had that happen before well the left side's done Oh, wow, that only took 200 years. <laughs> that That's the importance of connections. It's all the same color doing all the whole, all the same thing. So it could be going back on itself to the next one. Okay. And if you use motif stitches, it will do that. It, it plots it all out so there isn't 500 trims. So all of this should have been attached. Oh, I hope it doesn't do it here. There's a big space. Oh, it's gonna, though. Well, I may skip it and come back to it after because this is like watching paint dry. <laughs> almost. Isn't that funny? It's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's maybe that I should have oh, checked wow. it. Yeah. See, it could do another running stitch to there and start and carry on and it's not well, it you, is pretty oh it is but can you imagine if it was not as wide yeah it was closer close together it's pretty paint drying pretty paint drying they're just having a good time oh, in I the know. chat I, I like the way that you put the fabric up yes i think that'll yep. I love this. I still wish I was gonna be getting all my uh, fabric. This is blueprint fabric, and I have like four yards of this oh. that I bought. I know, I know. I think it's really pretty. Oh. When I go when I go away in a couple weekends, my girlfriend's gonna take me to a fabric store. Oh, are you going to indulge? I'm going to just go wild. Oh, boy. Well, good. It's awesome. Yep. It's absolutely awesome. Um, you'll find the things that catch your attention, the fabrics. and. You can take Lynn to Lynn's Mills. Well, you could, but she's going with a friend of hers. Not us. Yeah. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> So you're not coming to the live, and you're going fabric shopping with someone else. I'm sorry. Well, I might make the live. Yeah, maybe. We I might still be stitching. <laughs> this echo quilting. Oh, my God. Because I think, I think she's taking me to Lens Mills in London. No. There's something in Cookstown or Alliston or Barrie. That, uh, I don't know if it's a Lens Mills. There, there might be one in Barry. Lens Mills has a few stores in Ontario. Oh, there's, there's lots. Lens Mills is there's pretty one in cool. London, one in Cambridge. They usually have pretty cool, uh, Halloween and Christmas fabric. All right, so if this keeps doing this, I'm out. Well, what did on, it do? It quarters the way done now. Oh, but I can come back and do it. It's painful. And if I have to re-thread it for every crappy little stripe it's doing, I'll be out. <laughs> well, hopefully everybody who's watching is having more Jamie fun than I am. It's worth the time. I guess so. It does look really good. But, you know, all I had to do in the software was... Uh, I did watch it stitch out, but... I always like, I, I get used to Wilcom that it'll, it'll stop when you get to a trim so you know where it's trimming. So I'm going to go back and 
look at this. Oh. Um, they said they're all having fun, so it's good. Okay, so it just did the top left corner, and now it's going back to finish the bottom right. Okay, so, I mean, everyone learn this is why you don't, uh, you know, trust the auto-digitizing, no matter how good your machine is, or your computer, your program, because, man, and now it's going to pull threads. I'm going to zoom forward a little bit because I don't think it needs to do all that. So I'm going to go here. So this is how you advance, Lynn. Okay. This is the number of stitches. So remember you were asking me yep. about how many stitches. So I'm going to add a plus 10. Okay. And you can see it moves. It moves 10. It moves. It moves. Okay. So I'm not going to bother with all this. Then it's going to move... I'm going to skip that. This is how you skip the stitches. And now it's starting. So that's how you do it. Whoops. One way or another. You should lift the foot when you do that. But it's good enough. Beth Price says you should do that. Show them how to fix it. How to fix it? How to fix the well, add a whole bunch of connections. I'm not doing it in P design, though. <laughs> good Lord. So what I would do to fix it, if this is what I had, I would bring it into um, probably the PEP, the Dime PEP software. And all you'd have to do is do a running stitch in the correct order and the correct starting point from one of these to the next one. And then it would stitch out. And then you'd go over here and you'd put a running stitch from this one that it just stitched to here so there'd be no trims oh, and it would be okay. all one movement. Smart. So yeah, this uh, I'm trying to, I mean, I guess this is a perfect example. This is not this is not good enough for digitizing. There's there's way too many trims, but I just use the background. I've never had a problem with it though. So it's kinda strange that I am, but I guess it's I don't usually use echo either. So okay, okay. I forgot to push the button. <laughs> so go back. And go back again, and there we go. And to get from one part of the design to another, you just stitch just a little bit off this line. And then you start, and you go here, do a running stitch, go there, do a running stitch, and you connect everything. Okay. Yeah. That looks easy. Um, It is. It is. I try to get everyone to optimize their designs, and the goal is to have the least amount of trims possible. You're obviously going to have to have some, but, but yeah. th this is crazy, and you can see why it's crazy. It looks great, though, but this whole white part should have stitched out in one. Just in one, like, no trim start That's to finish. That's what I thought it was going to do. I, I did too, apparently. So, but I mean, it's learning, right? The needle threader does have a smiley face. Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. A smiley face? Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, the way you're, you're looking at it, it looks like two eyes, the pin is his nose and the mouth. That's awesome. I see it. I had to put my head down a little bit. Just had to have the right aim. Well, that's McDreamy being happy. Oh, I'm in so much embroidery pain right now. It's almost done. Oh, my goodness. So much embroidery pain. See, more. see how it goes over the yeah. edge? Yep. That's fine, because that's going to be in your seam allowance. Because when you sew it, you're going to sew just a little over this line. Okay. So none of it, you know, none of it will show. Uh, I got to make, like, terrible noises. <laughs> Almost oh, done. Make dreamy. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, embroidery pain. One more. Do you think it's doing what? Yeah, it is. One you can more. see. Okay. 
goodness gracious. So in this video, we're going to show you guys what not to do in embroidery. This is it. Oh no, one more after your one more. Good Lord, PE design. <sighs> Every time I try to take a shortcut, it just bounces back to hurt me. It bites you in the butt. It, oh. oh. Seriously? Wow. Seriously? Yes. So, I guess we'll call it a day then because we showed everyone exactly precisely what not yeah. to do. Wakey, wakey. No, no, no. <laughs> You're outside of the line. Why are you even stitching? Because it's outside the line. Now he's done. Oh. Yes, I would like to do the raven now. Thank you. Thank you. It's not McDreamy's fault. I'm not getting mad at you. But, jeez. Karina says the struggle is real. The struggle <laughs> is real. And it does hurt. I'm hurting. Now, the people that have already done this, did, did it happen to them? No, they have their own software and did it themselves. Oh, okay. So, so they are, theirs yeah. was all in one stitch. Yes, I'm sure it was. Now, nobody better ask me for this file either, because the answer is no. <laughs> you don't want to share that file? I don't want to share that file. It's It's... I can say that maybe that Don made it. Hey, hey. Don't you hey, hey me. <laughs> hey, hey is the chicken from Moana. Hey, hey. Okay, well. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it's stitching it out twice, and there's not a trim. Okay, there is now, but. So we're doing the raven first here. So these are. Susan Wee says you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure it's free? That, no. No, that would be for somebody that doesn't have patience. Sandy says, sorry, we don't want this one. <laughs> oh. Can we go back to the desk? Yeah, we can do that. All right. Okay. Lynn, Lynn, you are up, my dear. Make sure you stay in the camera. Okay, so I'm stitching his top part and yep, or, you're or trimming cutting, trimming okay yeah and in between too okay because i think there's oh no yeah there's uh you don't have to cut it in between because i think the hat's gonna cover it but i mean do what you want in the meantime i'm gonna get the orange on there's quite a bit of applique in this design but it's really cute. I also need black too. But after. So I'm gonna take off my white. He should be cute by the time we're done. Yes. So let us know in the comments what you guys are making with your um applique guys. Because there's a whole bunch of different faces. I know Sarah did something really, really cute. There's a lot of ideas. You you could make a mug rug. That's, you know, you guys should. When you, t <laughs> when you think of me, you should think mug rugs by this time. How are those scissors working for you, Lynn? A little better. A little better, okay. You did a good job. They, they are applique scissors. No, I don't have to cut in between, or uh, do I? Um, Yeah, try. It's good practice. Yep, I would do that too. Trim. Yeah, I know. Like a pro. I know. I Do you need different scissors? I am going to need the smaller ones to get yep. in. Yep, remember they're sharp. Wow, that looks so pretty just like that with that fabric. Lynn's off to the races, Beth Price says. Yep. Queen of mug rugs. Yes, I am. The uh, The mods gave me that title and I'm like, yeah, I'll go for that. Is it going to be covered up? Um, it's the corner piece of his hat, so I'm thinking, yes. Nice job. All right. Thank you very much, Lynn. Don, can yeah. we go back to the desk? Dreamy's up. Yep. 
Lynn, you did a great job. Thank you. That was easy. And while Lynn was trimming, do you oh, know? Look at, look at the fuzzies. Everybody's going to be brushing yeah, their screen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's Lynn's fault. That's my fault. Yep. We're going to stitch um, the dude's beak, I guess. So there we go. And there's no more fluffies. No more fluffies. I don't know why the beak is in orange, but I'm good with it. Ooh, a little bit long satin stitches. Looks good. So when he goes slower, he's not struggling a little bit, but it is more difficult for the machine to do long satin stitches. Okay. And those didn't split, so. All right, change the thread again. There's a lot yes. of thread changes in this, and a lot, I'm, a lot. I'm wondering if they're all necessary. But I don't know. I didn't, uh, like, because it's a stitch file, I can't do anything about it. But it's really nice when all your, if possible, all your black stitches out at once sort of thing. I think stitching that could be stitched at another time. However, with layers, that's probably it with layers. Well, you would think that black color would just stitch out wherever. Like all. All the black first, yeah. all the orange. So the reason why it did it like this is because the black is going to cover the junction of the beak. Gotcha. So if you were to change, say, for example, the orange with the other oranges, it's going to stitch over top of this line. Oh, okay. So you have to be careful. Sometimes it, like for this one, it seems like a lot, but I'd be willing to bet that it's because you can't do it any other way. So this is what you want your applique to look like. If you had your, uh, the beak over it, okay. then I, I don't so think it would like look. So it's kind of like covering up a, a, a frayed edge kind yes. of thing? Yes, yes, exactly. Good analogy. So yeah, it's all about order. And sometimes you just can't do anything about it. And you may be thinking, well, why couldn't you just bump it up? So it's like, but you can't be that precise because there's um, push-pull compensation. So okay. you may stitch it and it's over a bit more because mm -hmm. the fabric does move. The stitches make it like these ones, the long satin stitches right. that I pointed out. Yep. They pull the fabric in with every stitch. Oh. Pull. Okay. You yep. can kind yep. of picture that. So that moves the fabric a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when you're digitizing, you add something called pull compensation, and it just makes that part just a little bit wider mm -hmm. uh, and covers it. So you could do it, you know, with the, the orange um, stitching out afterwards, but it's it could look terrible, it could look <laughs> good. And, 50-50. Yeah. The hardest thing to do, and the hardest thing for people to stitch out, are designs with a very small running stitch outline on it. Okay. Because it's going to, there's no pull compensation, it's only as thick as the thread. Right. So if your whole design moved everything, then your black outline is going to be off in more than one place. So it's um, pretty tough to do. So Jackie Cheat, I hear Jackie Cheat. Someone's saying hi, Jackie. Ru Ruthie20 gives 50% off. What are we talking about? I'm still um, working on, oh, people probably want these, the design set or the ready yeah. set. So are you guys ready to dig into the landscaped animals? No, yeah. Because that's going to take am. us a while. Lynn's really excited about that. We're going to have to dig out some fabric. Yeah, Ruthie's 20. What does Ruthie's 20 mean? 
Well, they usually. It's good till the twenty-first. Well, good enough. Brilliant. I tried it and it works. Yeah. And that's a fifty percent off. Okay, everyone, go shopping. Just go shopping. Okay. You gotta let me know where I need to go shopping. Oh, it's online. I need a good design online. Oh, I didn't think there'd be that many stitches. I don't want the inside of his eyeball. There we go. Now, we're gonna outline for this bottom part. The... I don't even know what it's called. You take, uh, to make... To make the guy. Take a burlap sack. Yep. Stuff it and tie it. So what would this part be called? Just uh, like the neck? I thought it was some kind of scarf thing. Neck scarf. I think we've been calling it scarf when we picked out the fabric and everything. Alright, I think that's pretty good. And this is why I wanted this canvas, because I thought it would give it an authentic look. And it's nice and flat, because I ironed it for Sue. <laughs> I saw nothing, so I don't believe you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can smack them, it's okay. Yeah. I did not hit the record button, so I Okay. <laughs> okay. Collar. Collar? I, I mean, I guess. Awesome. Alright. You're up again. This stuff should be easy, easy. Again? Yeah. <laughs> There's one, two, three more. Alright, Don, back to the desk for Lynn. Lynn, you're up. Desk is up. Okay. I like it. Karina says go in. Go <laughs> in. Ah, looks good. All right. Yeah, I know. I had that control over here. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I noticed that when we were setting up, that was good. I controlled. Yep. Thank you. That is your job. How's that trimming stuff? A lot easier. Yeah, it's different kind of fabric. It is. It's like canvas. Really nice for doing red work or black work because it looks like the old fashioned hand cut canvas stuff. Oh, yeah, it does. It does, yeah. yeah. And it's not very expensive, which is why I have so much of it. So it's nice for kind of framing. It's neutral and thin, but thick enough to work. Collar. Everyone's saying collar. Yeah, we we just didn't know what what to call it. It's smaller than I thought. I cut way too much fabric. Wow. Better to have more than not enough. Well, that much is true, I suppose, isn't it? Um, when I'm doing applique, I like to uh, do all of the applique placement first and then do the covering stitches. And I think a lot of people do it that way. I'm having a thread problem, so just hold on. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people do it that way and it saves on uh, thread changes. But this one isn't going to work that way. It is going to do the covering satin stitches right now instead of going on to the rest of the appliques. So, oh. yeah. And I can tell that by looking. Can we go back to McDreamy, Don? Oh. You didn't need to do that. I, people didn't need to see my porky paws doing the we thread had change. In the video. It was all good. Please don't. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. But they liked it. There we go. So, Lynn and I picked out the limiest of lime green. <laughs> it's it's awesome. I used it yesterday and I, for the green spider. Oh yeah, thanks for the picture of the green spider. That was gross. Oh. His legs were longer than his body. Yeah. So, anyways, it's the same 
neon green and I just think it's spectacular. I see you. I see you, Ronog. <laughs> Twitter, thank you. Oh, very nice. It's a betting game. It's a betting game oh, for their donations. Okay. What brand are those scissors? The scissors that Lynn is using, they are from Gunold. Um, we used to give them away, but we don't have any more. And Gunold USA is cool about it, but apparently Gunold Canada doesn't want to give us any kind of a deal, so we didn't do it anymore. Oh. We bought like hundreds of them. Bummer. Yeah, I'm just... But they're nice scissors. They seem to be almost my yep. favorite. They still dent my finger. Yep. You gotta build up your stitching muscles. Yeah, group buys are kind of awesome. But look at that green. <gasps> that is green. That's green. Like, no word of a lie, that's the greeniest green that ever greened. Should we do his tie in the green, too? Or black? Huh. Yeah, good question, huh? What's the group say? Yeah, his little tie, I don't know if it stitches next. I can't do it right now. The little tie that ties his brains in, I guess. <laughs> should it be black, or should it be green, or should it be orange? I simply love the background fabric suit. I know. I'm going to show you guys, remind me, I'm going to show you guys what I did with the background, and it's, uh, I need a good design, the tiny houses. Tiny creepy houses or yep. something? Tiny? Yep. I can't remember the name of it. Everyone's saying orange. orange. Okay. And we had boring black picked out. Yeah. Unless it's all in one and then I'm not going to bother changing. Let's see what's next first. It's the tie. All right. So orange, people say. What do you think, Don? Um, orange? Yeah, orange. Okay. Quick. Neon thread change. It'll tie in with his hat. Well, that's kind of the idea. We don't want to tie his hat, but tie in. His neck's already tied. I wish he was um scarier looking. He's scary enough for me. Yeah, you didn't like him, did you? His uh, it's something to do with his eyes. Oh, do you think they're uh, scary? Yes. I could have. Yeah, I could have made him scarier. It looks to me like he's smiling. I think if they were smaller, he would look angry, therefore a little scarier, maybe. I don't know. I didn't find him scary, but... So, do we have a new person? Orange. Sarah's laughing. I don't know why. Purple. Ah, oh, we're doing orange. It'll just brighten everything up. I know. I already changed the thread and yeah, I'm not I changing it. I don't know it. if the purple would go with the blue background. It doesn't like have to. It doesn't have to. Halloween colors go with everything. I really do like the polka yes. dot bird. Yes. I was going to get black felt and then I walked by my little Halloween leftover pile. I'm like, ooh. Polka dot. <laughs> Why not have a polka dot raven? It's good enough. Please comment if you are new to these videos. We love to welcome you. Yep. New people. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. And of course, join OML Embroidery University Facebook group. That is the backup to this channel. The, the whole OML Embroidery thing is this channel. Um, but if you have questions or you're having difficulties or you want to know where to find something that we're doing, that's the place to ask. It's, it's awesome. Yes. And the idea is to keep this channel going strong. So watch, like, share. That's all you guys have to do. 
thank you to the people who donate that uh, my fabric fund I guess that's yes. gonna be now uh, unless I get that fabric but I'm still depressed about it I'll stop whining about it <laughs> for sure and remember yesterday what I said if your first language isn't English please feel free to post um, you know like and share and all that kind of stuff in your language chances are there's people watching it and they might understand Nothing to see. <laughs> what was it it was a bug <laughs> Lynn what was it <laughs> I don't want to know I don't want to know no you don't what was it um, it was one of the things that friend. you were stitching yesterday in lime green. <laughs> Big enough that was it coming for me? No, it was going away from you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Done. So apparently we just had a big fat juicy spider. I'm, and I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to call Dawn so quietly <laughs> while you're talking. Dawn, Dawn, <laughs> look. And I turn around, and Dawn has a goofy smile on his face with my slipper <laughs> on the floor, and said, "Nothing to see here." Nope. Lynn wasn't going to tell me. Up, okay. It, was it a big one? Big enough. Duh! That's... Thank you. It, yeah, it wasn't a very small one. It was... Yeah. It better not be living in my uh, thread or else you'll have a lot of thread. No, don't be looking down on the floor, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Now I have to keep my feet up. Oh. Uh, or wear shoes. That's usually what happens with me on a Monday when I start my mail route. I know to put the mail in front of my face when I'm walking through bushes. Mm. Or up, upstairs. Nine times out of ten over the weekend, the spiders have got webs. I I just dislike stuff. <laughs> Get Lynn to the rescue. <laughs> well, she did. She signaled Dawn, who is the bug hunter supreme, yep. and took care of it. Okay, I saved I, ya. I, I probably would have yelled, you know. You probably would have. Oh. Knocked seriously. me off the chair. <laughs> you know, I'll just, I'll just walk away and let you guys do the rest of the show. Beth Price says, stay calm and stitch on. So. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm glad I didn't see it. Uh, No. And I'm glad everything happens when we're live. Why is that? Testing it's you. Nature. It's nature. It's the nature of live television. Testing you. We're we're not on live TV, Don. No, this is modern TV. I suppose it is, right? Thank yeah. you. There we go. All right, this is this guy's starting to come together. And do the face, um, in the same color. Oh, McDreams. Come on. It's applique. You don't have to work any harder for applique, my boy. Jeebus. Where's the Norseman? Is he sending gremlins? I think he sent gremlins through PE Design yesterday. <laughs> when I set all this up. I was going to look at it this morning, and I, nah, nah, I need a little bit of a break. I've been tired and getting a lot of stuff done. And I should have, apparently. I should have. My Halloween nails match everything. I'm so happy. Yes. All right, Don, back to the desk. Lin Lin, you're up. Desk is up. Don, okay. do not put the picture in picture on, please. <laughs> we're we're focusing on Lin and her big, big, big skills. I don't need to do picture in picture. We have movement. Movement. What What does that mean? 
means there's action on the screen. Okay, ow. I just hit the camera. Didn't see it. You're well, you're not on my <laughs> camera. We have movement. Is that all you're gonna say? Yes. Does it can you see the, yes, you can see the camera in the preview. Is it crooked or because I did give it a good bunk. Whoa! And I just bonked Lynn. <laughs> wow. This is what makes it fun. You never know what's going to happen. I know. I don't know how much fun it is, but I suppose it's fun. Something always happens. We gave in to that idea a long time ago. Something will happen. At least I'm thankful it's not our cameras anymore. We'd be recording, Lynn, and, or doing live, and the camera would go beep, 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 and shut off. Oh, no. We'd be like, um, really? Ooh, look at you, Lynn. I think I'm the, getting a little better. I think wow. the scissors make yep. the difference. Look at that. Couldn't have done it better myself. Back to McDreamy, Don. Uh, good for you, Lynn. Thank you. So, the right scissors for you. I'll have to give you those. Because they work for you. They do. That's awesome. So now it is going to do the satin stitches for dude's face. And I'm not sure if afterwards, if we're going to go to the hat... I don't know. We decided on white and it's gonna do a black stitch over it. A motif stitch. Okay. So, okay, we have a minute. Fabulous trimming. Yes, I know. We're having fun. It's always fun. Stop worrying about your hands. <laughs> I know, I know. It's one of those things, you know, people dislike hearing their voice or seeing themselves on. Even, like, the big stars are like that. I just... I, I find when I rewatch this, I find I don't like the way that I'm talking or yeah. the way that I laugh. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's weird. It's I, different. I don't often listen to them. It's so. like when I, when I leave a message on somebody's answering machine. It's like, um, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah. Um, it's hard. I can do a voiceover on a hour long video just straight through now. Wow. I haven't done it for a long time, but yeah, for sure. Kim Post, thank you very much. We appreciate that. I have y'all on the big screen. Woo! Woo! Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I think that's really cool. We love your hands, Sue. <laughs> it means your medicine is working to keep you healthy and strong. Well, you know, Judy Quilt, I can't argue with that. It's just still, I know it's been three years, it's just still weird for me. I didn't ever have, like, thin hands, but it's just weird. But yes, good point. I will change my thinking on that. Look at my hands. There, is that better? <laughs> Put black back on. So it's going to do some detail work. So I'm not too particular on the order of this for some reason. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world either. It's not... Yeah, you're changing a lot. A lot of threads. Yep. Yeah, I know. This is the point in time where I wonder, why is it I have a single needle machine? But then I look at McDreamy and think, he's the best. He's awesome. Yeah, he is, actually. I uh, I really like him. I'm going to one day, Lynn, show you all the groovy stuff he's going to do. So our Scary the Scarecrow is now going to have some decorations and a face. So it's going to do... Sorry, I just stopped because I'm listening. All right. Um... Oh, I just love that Ooh. over the satin yes. stitch. So that's, um, it's probably a motif stitch, but it looks like a blanket stitch. Detail work, detail work. G 
Gail Harduck. We haven't seen Gail for a long time. You doing okay, Gail? Nice to see you back, and thank you. We haven't seen Gail for a little while. There's a lot of uh, names that even I don't recognize, but mind you, I've only been watching for a little bit. Yeah, that's true. It's always nice to see the new ones. Gail Tips. There's Oh, okay, well, Gail Tips has been around. <laughs> I, I'm so not good at names. When they have a different handle on yes. YouTube, it makes yep. it like Judy Quilt. I'm just always going to call her Judy Quilt, yep. which is weird, but that's how I remember. She sent me an email and she put Judy Whitaker and she put Judy Quilt. I'm like, oh, now yeah. I know who it is. Someone who knows me very yep. well. And I like the, the one lady that says the other Sandy. The other Sandy, three yes. Book, three or four of them. That's okay. The more Sandy's, the merrier. Yes. No problem with that. So, yeah, lots of detail work. Doesn't that look good, Lynn? That looks awesome. Okay, so I think this lime green, this is Madeira thread, by the way. Lime green and black is amazing together. I'm glad we picked white for his face. Yeah. I think that looks good, too. Gail Tips, thank you very much. It's confusing. There's a lot of people. I love to see the regulars, and I love to see new people. It's awesome. When we get done the video, we can look on the YouTube stats and see how many people subscribe during the video. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I quite like it, actually, because sometimes we get six or ten, and I'm thinking, well, that made the whole thing worthwhile. Yes. Yeah, because that's what we need. And keep asking the questions. Yeah, yep, for sure. So, Lynn, we should talk about setting... Oh, there's 186. Ooh, that's wow. pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, about getting you going on your machine. Are you ready for it yet? I'm ready. Okay. So we'll have to pick a day and we'll move McDreamy very carefully and plunk your machine down because the camera is there and uh, start doing some videos. And I can edit them and put them up and nice. yeah, so we can just get something done. So whatever day, I know Thursday, Wednesday morning I see my cardiologist so which is a good thing but I still don't really want to go out and do it um, so Wednesday Friday whatever you want what's these eyes are scary I don't think they're scary oh. let us know if you think yes can't wait Sarah says what kind of machine did you get Lynn got a brother, and I don't remember the number, single needle machine, but it's a brother. Do you remember the number? DX, DX820, um, it's a good machine. It does five by seven hoop, which I know a lot of people are in the school of thought that you know, get the best machine with the biggest hoop that you can afford, but we just want to see if Lynn's going to like it before she, like, like it doing it herself and can keep going. Um, and we got a good deal on it. It's used and a little bit older. It uses um, USB so you don't uh, attach it to your computer. And I think the 5x7 will be Perfect for Lynn. For a starter, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, something like that. I, you guys probably didn't hear Dawn's mumbling, but um, Sue's beginner embroidery with Lynn or something like that on a Friday night. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, I know. I don't, I, I was trying to be kind and not put Lynn on yeah. the spot. She's getting used to I'm it. I'm getting used to it. You do get used to it. His eyes look scary. 
I don't think they're scary, Lynn. I. I said alien eyes. Ooh. Oh yeah, they kind of are, aren't they? For sure. I thought it was taken. Well, yeah. You, of course, you know I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make him scarier with googly eyes. Glow in the dark. And he's gonna. Eyes. I'll. I'll face them like that way so he's looking <laughs> at something so it'll be the other side of the bag that I'm making and then you can see well I think my raven's pretty I think this is pretty I love the neutral yeah. color yes yeah. so he's gonna do the nose and the mouth and then we're gonna do the hat so this one's taking a bit longer and it's because of my brilliant echo stitching that should have taken like two minutes and it took ten. So, yes. Chris Yost predicts that Lynn will be looking for a bigger machine next year. Mm. Ooh, okay. That's a pretty good prediction, isn't it, Lynn? That is. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I don't think you can buy McDreamies anymore. No, they're disappearing. You can find the agents. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You can get the modern update. Mm -hmm. Or you can have McDreamy and I'll get the modern <laughs> update. I'm just kidding, McDreamy. Don't be dropping stitches because I made a joke, right? Hoop is a real... Hoop Envy. Did you know that that's... Un like, it's real? What? Hoop Envy. What's that? The size of the hoop. Oh, size matters? Yeah, I have a little bit of it because the Luminaire has a hoop bigger than my biggest. Wow. 10 by 16. Holy. Yeah, I know. I know. Close enough to 10 by 16. That's hoop envy. So people with 4 by 4 wish they had more and they're envious of people who have bigger hoops. 10 by 16. I just want to see it, I think. I just want to play with it. I think it would be fun. But yeah, hoop envy. And it's kind of funny. Lynn, if you eventually move up to something bigger, you can always have your trusty 5x7 as a backup just in case. Yeah? Yeah? A lot of people do that. They keep their first machine. Yep. It's like, yeah. Because you'll know it really well. And it is wonderful to have a backup. See, he's smiling. How he can he be now. evil? How can he's he be still evil? Got evil eyes. They're gonna be. I'm gonna make them evil now. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna make them evil, and I'm gonna send you a picture late tonight <laughs> and say good night, Lynn. Sandy is asking if you're gonna put the eyes on. That's that Sue's thing. There's mine. I didn't realize they were hiding. Everyone loved it when he was peeking out like that. Just wait, you'll see when he's stitching. Nice. All right, it's time for hair. Black hair? Black hair? Oh, I thought we were gonna go oh, yellow. Oh, the yellow. yellow, okay. I was just not wanting to change threads. <laughs> what? It's true. There is a lot of thread changes, man. We picked a kind of oh somebody straw color. Did. Yes, black. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, they're all saying yellow, no black. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> we picked this out. It just happened to be out. It's the yellow that I used for the quaint applique project. And it's just a nice kind of pale yellow, hopefully looking like a straw, is the idea. French fries. French fries. <laughs> I don't. I, are you hungry, Lynn? It's, we haven't talked about food. <laughs> we usually do, I suppose. Yeah, that's, that's the right color, I think. Yep. Now, this hair that's stitching out, I can see right here that it has a connection from one side to the other. Okay. So I'll show you like when it's doing it rather than a trim. 
I think he looks like he has a little bowl cut. You remember the bowl cut oh, from the gosh, yes. 80s and 90s, I guess? That would be funny. Now you mentioned food and I am hungry. <laughs> I just get hungry all of a sudden. It's probably the meds, but I I'm fine. And Don will come upstairs and say, you hungry? And I'll be like, no, not yet. He'll go upstairs, do something for five minutes, come back, and I'll say, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Starving. Did you see? It's yep. stitched all the way over. Sandy's asking if you're at a hot tamale. Uh, nope. We still have them. They are some hot. They're good. Yeah. It takes me about a week to eat a box. We have no self-control in this house. Yeah, 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 he did. And then his stomach rumbled, and I'm like, maybe. <laughs> I know. 80s bull haircut makes me nervous, says Shannon. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. Well, he's just kind of balding, maybe. So he's an old, older scarecrow. Anyways, hopefully you guys saw the connection. It's about time someone did good connections in this design. <laughs> no, I need a good design did it fine. It's all me. However, I will say I love echo quilting. I think this part here that yes. I did, I think it looks spectacular. And it's nice the white blends, but not 100%. Yes. I like that. I wonder, right. what, I wonder what the black spread would have looked like. I wonder if it would have been too much bling. Um, because you'd certainly see it. Yeah, more. because the blue, the blue and the white is a nice subtle color. Yeah, quilting. I mean, you don't have to stick to any rules. Um, in general, is kind of in the background. Like, uh, it's just meant to complement the actual embroidery design. Right. Um, but you can, of course, do whatever you want. Uh, one thing that looks amazing in um, um, quilting designs is variegated thread. So if you had a variegated thread that's white light blue, dark blue, Okay. then it would be really good. Susan Clark says that she just had a message on her phone that Just Born, the makers of Peeps and Hot Tamales, is not making them right now due to COVID. Oh, well, oh. on Which them. Which might be why we find them hard to get. Oh. Okay, well, that's interesting. We, we were kind of, honestly, we were kind of wondering why we couldn't find them i mean we don't need to eat them every day it's <gasps> it's a treat and now we know but it's a monthly treat yeah i know that's well, okay well pfft, on them i don't know <laughs> if i'm getting tired of them or I'll have to find something else now oh that's it when i go up north i'm checking yeah I says if there's chocolate in the house the self control goes in oh definitely <laughs> Yeah, Lynn's pretty tiny, and we're not, and I had to explain to her. She said, I didn't bring over some chocolate. I'm like, don't. It'll be all gone. If I make something, bring half. Yep, bring half. We have no self-control. We'll eat it all. Yep. Because, I, because when I make cupcakes or loaf of bread, you know, because I live by myself, I'm not going to eat it all by myself. We share. Yes. Lynn doesn't want to eat our vegan -y food, though. <laughs> can't say I've tried it. No, that's, yeah. I kind of switched that way a little bit after the heart attack because meat has cholesterol in it and I'm not, I gotta have zero cholesterol blood level. Shannon's asking if we've ever tried cow tails, Candy. Cow tails? Yeah. Nope. Never heard of it. I think I've heard of it, but I don't remember what it is. Back to the desk, Dawn. And Lynn, yes, you up. are up. I'm up. Scraps of fabric from yesterday. While you were up, I will change the thread. I see a close game of, of applique chicken on that. Uh, a little oh, bit. A little bit. I wasn't going to bring it to anyone's um, attention. Oh, Phil yeah. Ham, thank you very much. I can't see the question. What is the question or statement he put on his donation, Don? 
I am. Uh, just as thank you for all you do for us. Well, you're very welcome. I'm having the time of my life. All this, all this came from having a heart attack. And I said, Don said, what do you, what is it? Name one thing that you've always wanted to do. And I said, I need a good design. Seriously, makes me happy. And uh, so we bought a ton of I need a good design. And that's how I got back on my feet again. True story. True story. And I, I truly, deeply love I need a good design designs like I'm not I don't get paid by them I'm not selling them I don't do any of that I just love the designs the creativity the new stuff that book every month uh, that is so amazing getting the book every month embroidery mail I absolutely love it um it just makes me happy last week's that you did was wow uh, I know, I know. It's amazing. There was so much in it. And sometimes you look at it and you go, eh, but then I can picture it in my mind in different colors. Wait till you see the Christmas stuff they'll be coming out with. It's usually darn amazing. Um, whoops. You doing okay? I kind of thread chicken did a bit. I forgot this side. Judy okay. Quilt says, thank you, Sue, for doing the first of the month all access for reveal video. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, people, some people mm -hmm. ask me in the comments, do you look at it beforehand? And the answer is no, I never did. Um, she doesn't. She waits. I wait because... I want the video to be like with you guys looking at it Just, for excited. the first time. Sometimes it's torture, <laughs> torture to wait. But look at you go, Lynn. I know. She's talking and trimming. That's pretty spectacular. Nice. And, and making some faces. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's cut. That's what I do. Look at that hat. <laughs> Oh, I could have fussy cut that a little bit better. It's a, only a tiny bit off. Lynn, good job. Back to the machine, Don. Now he's going to do the satin stitches, and then all we have is his sash, which I might just do black. So we're all, all done it. with applique. Finally. Yay. It's good. So, Don, can we do the picture-in-picture picture thing with the desk while it's stitching? So, McDreamy in the small. Okay. So, I wanted to show you guys. This is what I made. I Obviously, I haven't finished it yet. Um, oh, I was, I was thinking, oh, no, that's dirty, but that's the fabric. It's, no. it's light batik fabric. Did we switch over, Dawn? I just don't see it yet. Um, and of course, you recognize the background fabric. My feet is very delayed. Um, people like that. Um, so this is from the September All Access. Nice. And I added the background. I was hoping I could match it up better, but it just, no matter what I tried, it yeah. didn't work out. And I decided on bright colors and then a skull. Yes. So this is white batik and it has like brown and it looks almost like freckles if you look at it. So um, Lynn came over this morning and she was staring at it <laughs> and she's like, Okay, so this is applique, and these are all running stitches. I'm like, yeah, isn't it a cool effect? Yes. I think it's really neat. Yeah, um, awesome. yeah, there's so many of them. So it's called, what is it called? Tiny Spooky Houses, I think. Yeah. Um, I think it's awesome. I really like it, and I did the background just in the same way that I taught in that class. Um, but I really like this because of Judy Quilt that I have solids. Solid colors. Yeah, I had to think about it, but there's so much detail work and there's nothing solid about it that I thought, yeah, I have to have 
solid fabric for this. So thank you, as always, Judy Quill. Phew, for sure. And there's not many color changes. There are five, uh, maybe. Five or six? Yeah, each one is separate. So the orange, I, I love that to stand out and his eyes yes. as the windows. And you know what's a nice touch is the flowers. So it's something to look at, and I thought, oh, I just like making samples like triptychs, so three. Um, and I'm going to bind it and back it, and it could be, you know, a small table runner. It could be a wall hanging. I think that's really fun when you put a whole bunch of them up, so I really like that. Now, I've been really busy doing the classes and the stitch outs and stuff, so I haven't quite finished. But this will give you a look at, this is the last project we were doing. And mom has claimed it. Yes. And she's really excited about it. Video keeps cutting out. Are we having issues, Don? No, we're good. It's going to be YouTube then. Okay. Well, please don't start that YouTube. Um, she really liked it. So I added sashing in between. And I'm going to add another block of sashing all the way around. And then I'm going to bind it. Um, I think I'll bind it with this fabric. Yes. I think that'll look yep. good. And whatever on the back. But she wants it as a table runner. Wow. My other thought is Anita Good Design has um, a design set. Because all their stuff is... Well, not all of it, but it's mix and match. So what that means is that they have a block this exact size, but a different shape sort of thing. Oh, okay. Or, you know, if you want this Christmas with another Christmas one, you can put them together or like okay. a quilting stitch one. And they have one and it's curved. Ooh. And I was thinking that oh, that would look really good or triangle at the ends. I think that would look really good for this. So yeah, it's kind of sitting there because I haven't decided exactly what to do, but I did want to see it stitched together, that put together. Pretty. Really, really pretty. Yeah, she really liked it. And this is the um, original background and this is the first one I changed and I really like that. This is from PE Design and this is another one and I like them both. So you can see clearly the difference that the background quilting makes. It changes the whole design. This is lovely. Um, you can't really see it on my fabric, but this is like, ooh, it kind of gives it movement yeah. sort of thing. And I'm particularly fond of the swirly ones, yeah. but it gives it movement. Like the wind is kind of blowing the bell and the hidden kind of hearts yep. on it. Yep. I love it. Sharon Green's asking what size you're doing, 5x7, but I'm not sure if she's referring to the Scarecrow or what you're talking about. Uh, these ones here were 8x8. Eight eight. Scarecrow, I'm doing it in my 8x8 eight eight hoop. And the ones underneath were in a bigger hoop because I wanted them to all be the same, but longwise. And I wanted the detail work to really show up. So this one is bigger. I don't remember. Six by ten hoop I used, I think. All the picture picture. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. We get to do different things. Last time, didn't we look through our Ready, go. Set, Go book? Yep. Yeah. Says, hey, thank you, oh, I forgot she was watching. <laughs> I'm telling you all my secrets, Mom, of what <laughs> I'm going to do. But when you see it, you know. It's weird. It's such weird fabric, but it's beautiful. All right, we're just going to leave him still stitching. He's almost done. Okay, I really like the technique. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, I right? Do. The top of the hat? Yes. Yep. That's a really nice technique. We'll look at it more carefully. It's really nice. Beth Price, enjoying all of the videos and projects. Well, thank you. We enjoy your company. Everybody who's here, it's amazing. Thank you very much, Beth. We appreciate the help. We're going to keep going. And because of Lynn and her beginnerness, we're going <laughs> to add another day. Yay. Just have to figure out what day it is. 
It'll have to be in the evening, though, because Lynn works during the day. Yeah. Yeah. I get pretty tired after, like, all the prep work. I do the prep work for Saturday, usually Friday night, you know, pulling the fabric, yep. setting it up and whatnot. Um, but for Sunday. Lynn Day! Yeah, and you know what? I think everyone will be here to support you, Lynn. And I think it will be an amazing learning video. It will be, definitely. So what I'll do for Lynn Day is I will... Now, your machine will be quite a bit smaller, so maybe I can... I'll have to play around with it. But I'll have a camera here, and I'll have a camera on your screen. So... Okay. You can literally show anyone, you know, what you're doing. Like, press this button, press start. That's so cool. Good for Linday. Linday! <laughs> Everyone's loving that. Well, I think it's uh, super. <laughs> okay, yes. And, and we listen to them. Yeah, and they also suggested that I make a mug rug for my first project. Okay, we can do that. Hmm, good idea. I'll supply the thread and the fabric. <laughs> you just bring yourself and your cool little machine over. Um, do you know what mug rug you want? No. You'll have to uh, think about it. You can go through omlembroidery.com and see the ones that we have there. Okay. And kind of pick something, maybe. I know she has. That's the problem. <laughs> she has half of them. <laughs> Oh, we'll make a... Oh, there we go. We're going to make a special, special Lynn Day mug rug. Mmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Beth Price says, Wendy n Wednesday night is open. Just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. That's awesome. Lynn Day mug rug. <laughs> I can't do it Thursday because I bowl Thursday. She bowls Thursday. That's the only that's the only day that I'm not available at night. Why well, don't we have a live on Thursday? So we can do it. No, no. Well, so it's Monday, so Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, or Friday. Friday. Mm. Friday nights with beginner Lynn. I was thinking, what about some kind of encouraging beginner noob saying on it? Okay. I like that. I'll have to come up with something. If you guys have any ideas. Uh, Sandy says, sorry, can't do evenings during the week. We'll watch the replays. Perfect. Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, it's hard. Very, very, very hard to pick a time to do. Yeah, that's convenient for everybody. Yeah, it just doesn't work. And I always feel bad. Because well, especially with all the different time zones. Yes, and it's and it. Some people are like, "Well, I can never see one," and I'm sorry, I can't stay up all night. But we try to like Saturday is first thing in the morning, and Sunday is later on in the afternoon, and Wednesday is kind of in the middle of that. So hopefully, everybody, no matter what country you live in, you'll be able to catch one. And you can always watch replays if you can't make them live. Right. Heck. Patricia Dowell is asking, all the time that they were, you were doing the Lacey Christmas vlogs, she thought that the fabric was metallic black, but these videos look like chocolate brown, which is cool. So which is it? Well, I think it's black. I think it's black. Black with metallic. It does look kind it of brown. It does look brown. It, it does, does actually. Because of the gold thread. But it's black with metallic gold. I'm I'm pretty sure it's black metallic because there's a lot of black in the other fabrics. It's just stunning, isn't it? Yes. But there the every bit of brown I guess that's what makes it look brown is that there's there's different shades of dots in this. Yes. Uh, it's not just one color gold, so there's brighter and darker and bigger and smaller. If you remember the fabric, it had kind of a wave to it, so 
um, reads brown. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I thought it was black, but now I see it could be brown as well. Especially this part. So, either or. Yeah, step back. If you step back a bit. Oh, nice! Okay! Oh. Ooh. Well. Great ideas. <laughs> I love this. Thank you very much. Stitching along with you today, the other Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> the other Sandy. I love it. You, you know you have a good gang when we all have nicknames. Everyone has and nicknames. And we all laugh. A lot. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Sandy. Sandy too, maybe? She started saying the other Sandy. So these are my projects that I have going, and I, I'm i really happy with all of them, I, except for today. I honestly thought you spilt something on the... Uh, I know, I did I know. that too. It's just kind of, it looks like someone dribbled coffee on it, but if you really look at it, you can tell that it's the Batik. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm skipping this. I didn't do the end part right, and I also changed my mind um, because I can. We don't get to hear the happy music, but that's okay. <laughs> Don, back to the desk, please. The desk is still up. Oh well, you can take off McDreamy. So here's our guy. This is what we were talking about. So the applique, if you remember, ended about here, and then these are just satin stitches. What a gorgeous effect. Oh, wow. Yep. I so love it. Just <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's going to make me do it. i got to have separate ones. I need new googly eyes. I, I know. I'm going to get one. Oh, now he looks scary. <laughs> I saw that in the corner. Oh, yeah, he's scary now. <laughs> How about like this? With oh, the oh, oh, he's scary now. You moved his pupil. There. No, you looked scary when you had it down. He's oh. like, whoops. I know. <laughs> Flying eyeballs. Flying <laughs> eyeballs. Well, it's Halloween. There you go. <laughs> Does that look scary? You know what? We need to cut something up and give him eyebrows. <clears throat> Somebody okay. suggested doing eyebrows earlier. Oh. Cool. Well, you gotta have fun, right? Yeah, yes. I might do eyebrows. Just fabric glue them on for sure. So awesome, except for my satin stitches or my uh, echo stitches. However, the final effect is fantastic. Yes. It's one of my favorite things to do. And swirlies I like and something kind of just bigger. Yep. Uh, I'm starting to get into it, but the echo is stunning. So, sorry that took so long. That was Lynn's echo stitching that she did. Yeah, it was all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but I made up because I ironed. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're funny, Lynn. I like the way this turned out. It, it was a lot of thread color changes, but I think it's well worth it. Yep. Googly eyes are just simply going to stay, and uh, I think we'll put eyebrows on them. So thanks, everybody, for being here. This is awesome. We had a good time with this. We have a digitizing class on Wednesday. I am not really sure what it, we're going to be doing. I'll come up with it soon. And Saturday, we're doing the second O in Boo, so I can get the link up, set it up, uh, quickly. It'll be kind of the same graphic, but the emphasis on the bat-o. 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 Bat That's a good word. And Sunday, you guys can decide. I'll put up a poll, because this is all for you guys. If you want to do one more of these, the Jeepers Creepers faces, or if you want to get started on the landscape silhouette animals or whatever so i'll do that so and coming soon learning with lynn learning with yeah. lynn we'll let you know when that's set up so 
thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.